everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, I'm gonna be looking through the new Plan of Peace box. The theme here is Grow. So let's go ahead and have a look. Something I love about the Plan of Peace boxes, I never know when they're coming. They just sort of show up on my doorstep and it makes me very happy. Uh, so you've got the big quarterly box here. It is got over $120 worth of value in this box. I'm very excited to have a look through here and see what is included this month. Sorry, this quarter. I keep calling it month. It's not month. Oh, washi tape. Oh, okay. So, I'm just going to get rid of my thing here. Now, the thing I love about the Planner Peace boxes is they don't include all Planner goodies. They do have, oh, sorry. Yeah, they do. They, they don't include all Planner goodies. They have more than just Planner goodies. So we've got all of these things here. We've got some inserts. I don't know what that is. I've got some stickers. I've got, ooh, ooh. I'm very excited to have a look. I've got some card stuff. All right, so let's start off here. I have here some, and I have my little, um, what I get in the box over here. So I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about exactly what I've got here. So I have some tea, I think. It's Queen Victoria Vanilla Chai Tea tea bag so it's a tea bag I'm not a chai person but my sister is so she will enjoy that very much I have some Mary Grace repair rose water mist now I've had some of their um, I think it was hand cream or face cream or something that has been sent before in one of these boxes and I find it really nice it's a really good I feel like I found it to be a really good brand so I'm very excited to have this one too rose repair rose water mist um, this gentle repairing mist utilizes rose water to soothe and hydrate the skin, help minimizing redness and fights breakouts. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to... Mm, I love the smell of rose water. Reminds me of my grandma. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. She used to put... Um, she, used, she loved roses. So you should have them. So there you go. you got some uh, rose water mist. It's in a really nice glass bottle too. Very, very nice. Then we have some washi tape. So this is from Washi Tape Australia. Oh, come on. And it's got some plants on it. It's really very cute. I really should start taking them out before I get to the, the video part, but it is a reasonably nice washi oh that's nice and it's got a repeating pattern of uh pots and flowers so you've got a blue one a yellow one a red one and different flowers along the way i love that they sit off they're not all straight in the middle something i really I get annoyed with sometimes is that all the the things are in the middle i like it to look kind of more um broken up and then the i wonder if you could um like line it up I don't know if the repeat would work like that. I'm just having a look. Um, not quite. You can't quite line it up so that it continues, but it's it's a good repeating pattern. So you've got some washi tape. I have a, a coloured pencil, I think. Just trying to see where it is. A seeded pencil. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I need to be careful. So, it is a coloured pencil that you can obviously use as a coloured pencil. But it also, in this little thing at the end here, it looks like it has little seeds. And mine says carrot, so I'm assuming that there are carrot seeds in there. I really need to actually try and grow some of these. Um, Jess often puts seeds and, and flowers and stuff in her kits, which I think is fabulous. Um, but I'm really bad. I have really... I'm not a, not a green thumb in the slightest. Um, so I have a tendency to kill things. So <laughs> I should give those a try though. I should give them a try. Uh, okay, I also have a quote card here. Now, when you get your first box, you get a really nice uh, quote card holder. Mine actually sits up here with one of the ones from a previous release. Um, so it's a really nice wooden quote card holder, which will hold these up beautifully. Through sun and rain, you will bloom all the same. That's a really nice one. And they're very nice postcards. They've got, obviously, the gold foil to them, but they've got a nice 
um, like a nice coating to them that they make it makes it feel very durable it doesn't feel like it's going to break so it's one that really does sit nicely in your office if you don't want to use them in your planner or anything if you want to just have them hanging around um, I also have a little use me to it's a little bookmark use me to mark a page in a book then soak in water overnight plant two centimeters deep in soil water well every day watch wildflowers grow oh wow that's kind of cool. It's got the seeds in the cardboard. That's actually really cool. That's very, very cool. Seeded bookmark. Interesting. If you guys want to see me try and grow, grow flowers, please let me know. I don't think I'd be any good at it, but, you know, I'll try. Uh, so this is a, a little mini desk calendar. Oh, okay, right. It sits like that. <laughs> so it sits. it opens up like this. And then sits as a little triangle. So it's got. Oh, cool. So it actually started from August 2022. So it's got. If I had gotten this early, it would have been fine. But it's obviously got the 12 months there. So I've got January there. Obviously, we're going into February. So I can move that over. Be a good one for me to actually take to work. Um, I've obviously got my decorative one here that I keep for me. But I could always use another one. I have some of my absolute favourite transparent sticky notes. I love these. I've got them in like pink. They all come in the box. I've got a pink one. Oh no, I've got blue ones. Uh, these ones are purple. They are very pretty. No residue. Sometimes you get a bit of a residue on the the, the next um, post-it note, but this one's absolutely fine. I love the transparent notes. They're really great. The clear ones are great for everything the colored ones are just nice to add a little bit of extra fun i have a card i have a card trying to see what that where what that please you put a monthly bookmark doesn't say why there's a card but it's very nice it's very nice comes with an envelope it's obviously handmade which i love i love you guys know i love handmade cards so that's that's really cute. I like that. So a little card there. Oh no, floral card. It is there. So that's obviously something you could give to somebody else. There is a a clear zip pocket. So a four section little transparent pocket. Uh, really good for putting uh, cards, like little business cards and stuff in. If you saw my oh if you saw my video last week with the. Um, gift cards this would be another really cool way to do it so you could keep them in your planner and you could just put them in there like that if you are if you're someone that keeps your planner in your car or something because you guys know I don't <laughs> it comes with me everywhere uh, but that's a really cool pocket it's really also really good for putting in photos putting in little quote cards just decorating in general so very fun to have that'll go straight in the planner actually then we have some stickers here so we've got some public holiday stickers and then some decorative stickers so the public holiday ones are by KHD Designs, and they're very simple and plain, but that's why they're awesome. They have so many here. So you've got New Year's Day, Australia Day, uh, Good Friday, Easter Sad Day, Eight Hour Day, but then you've got other ones like Sorry Day, you've got Hanukkah Starting, you've got Passover, Melbourne Cup Day, NIDOC Week, Remembrance Day, Mardi Gras, Elections, NFL, NRL and NRL Grand Final, and you've also got the A-League and the Netball. Uh, Marty, I said Mardi Gras, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Daylight Saving Starts and Ends, Ramadan, all those sort of things. So I love when they're big like this because it just means there's so much more that you do get to cover. It's a really good way too to recognise other public holidays just because I don't celebrate all oh, holidays, not public holidays. Uh, just because I don't celebrate it doesn't mean that I can't mark it in the planner. And then you've got your cute little deco sheet from Lime and Mortar. I love that. Very pretty with the plants. I could do a plant week. Uh, we have some yellow inserts. So this is just yellow paper um, with, with holes punched for an A5. When you get this box, you can um, you can specify what size planner you have, and then Jess will send you the inserts for that particular size. So obviously I have A5, so that's why I have these. It's always fun to have colours in your planner. Always fun to have colours in your planner. Uh, you also have a notepad. Love Jess's notepads. So it's got the sort of, not greyed out, the, the less, oh, come on, 
There we go. Just struggling with that today. Uh, you've got your less sort of solid bit there to be able to write on. Then you've got the deco all around the side. Beautiful sheet, a beautiful paper always is beautifully printed, beautifully put together. And then when it comes to the inserts, let's have a look at what we've got here. So of course we've got our um, monthly simple layout. So because we do these in three month blocks, you get February, March and April in this. So all for 2023. You've got your February birthdays, goals, events to do, and then your monthly spread. And then you've got your trackers at the back and then so on for March April as well. Really great for basic inserts, something that would be really cool, something that is really cool to just sort of get that really big look over what's going on. There's also a dashboard and a vellum overlay, which I love. I love vellum. This one's going straight in the planner too, I can feel it. So you've got the gorgeous 2023 with all those plant images. But then your vellum one over the top, and this is really thick vellum, feels great. Uh, growth, the process of something or someone developing gradually or starting to do something until they have a new quality feeling or attitude and to occurs only outside your comfort zone. Absolutely. All right, and then last, oh no, not last but not least. <laughs> last, but not least. <laughs> last but not least, you have the inserts, and there are a lot of different ones here. So the first one I'm going to do is this one. This is our monthly tasks. So this is a really good one if you're setting up like a house planner or if you want to keep something in the back of your planner that goes through the things you have to do in each room every month. So you've got your month up the top. There is definitely more than, I think there's more than 12 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It might be just 12, that's fine. Um, so you've got your monthly tasks, you put your month at the top and then you've got your room. So you've got kitchen, living, dining, bedroom, bathrooms, laundry and garage and shed. Um, obviously that garage and shed could be outdoors if you wanted to sort of add that extra kind of thing to it. But it might be, a monthly task might be clean the oven. Monthly, monthly task might be vacuum underneath the couch. I'm not the cleaner in my household, so you probably need to do these things more often or less often. I don't know. Um, on the back, you also have a uh, plane, which meant if you needed to add more tasks, if you needed to do things like carry things over, if you wanted to make things more permanent, um, you could do that. I really love that idea. I'll ask Ryan. Um, then we have a gardening one. So again, you know, if you want to you want to do that gardening thing, this is going to show you exactly what you should do each month. I'm pretty sure Jess did these last year as well, and they were awesome. Well, I can see where so many people would find them very, very useful. So January, feed plants with soluble fertilizers, trim herb gardens and rake up bark to mulch. So that's the general. Then you've got your flower garden, your fruit and vegetables, and your lawns. Now, obviously, different people have different gardens, have different access to things. You might just be growing fruits and veggies in little planter boxes on your balcony or just little flowers like that, but that doesn't mean that these don't occur, uh, don't um, apply to you. And then you've got on the back, you've got the my tasks and then the, the plants that maybe you have in your garden. So where are they? When were they planted? When were they fertilised? When were they pruned? So you can keep track of these things. And then that continues on for February, uh, March. Sometimes there's general tasks, sometimes there's not. April, I'll pick one out in a second, no, I'll actually read a bit more, so general in May is to move the plants around uh, around the garden, keep indoor plants away from the heater, because it's starting to turn on heaters at that point, keep mold blaze hide for May when you're doing the lawns, I love the little cute images as well, so you've got a rake, some seeds and a, um, a shovel, you've always got a flower on the other side, complete all planting of deciduous plants in August. And then you come all the way to December, where it's obviously the water deeply and less with less frequency, plant the flowering seedlings, and the raise the height of the mower, because obviously you mow your lawns a little bit less. Um, you, don't grow, you don't mow them less in, you let them grow higher in summer. I don't know, I don't mow the lawns either. Uh, last but not least, again, why did I just say that again? Goodness me. Uh, I have a 30 day challenge. This is new, I haven't seen this before. So it's just a one page insert. Yes, just one page. So it's a 30-day challenge and you can complete it in any order. I'm going to argue that you probably don't need to do them all within a month either. Um, but you could, it's got pay, pay a compliment, start a journal, have a coffee or a meal in a cafe on your own without looking at your phone. Gee, that would be hard. Um, go to bed early, that's not hard. <laughs> Visit somewhere new, spend 30 minutes silent in nature, that would be hard. That, you're very hard. Get in the water, that wouldn't be. 
uh, write down three things you love about yourself, read a book, buy a bunch of flowers. Just a cool thing to sort of do, and you could do that across the whole year if you wanted to, you don't have to do it within 30 days. And then at the back you've got a review, so the easiest challenge, the hardest challenge, habits I would like to continue, daily routines and thoughts and ideas. So it's a really cool thing to sort of sit there and go, okay, well I want to give this a go. Um, really good at the start of the year too, while you're sort of trying to learn different things. And this is about being out of that comfort zone, picking things that you don't usually do and um, actually giving that a shot. I just saw another one that said no screens after 8pm, that would be impossible. Louis lives on our TVs. Absolutely lives. Now we're at the last but not least. I've said that four times, so let's see. This is a 2022 in review insert. I love these. I got the um, Lights Planet Action one when she had her Black Friday uh, freebies, and I've done that one as uh, for myself, but this is another cool one to do. So you've got your best memories, something unexpected, the hardest time, something great I spent money on, uh, when I felt the most successful, when I my, spent my time well, when I didn't spend my time well, new skill, best meal, Meaningful quote, favourite TV show, favourite song. Um, for each area of your life, consider how satisfied you were in 2022 and mark things, something that went well in your career, uh, your finances, your physical health, your mental health, uh, fun and play and spiritual and religion. Uh, final thoughts, general thoughts and feelings. And then you've got looking forward. So something similar. I want to spend more time doing this. The benefits on that will be I want to spend less time doing this, a goal to achieve and an action to take. So really actually starting to put some plans into place uh, for for your whole life. I know I'm really good at doing that at work. I think you kind of have to set those goals and actually kind of go with them. I don't think I'm as good at doing it in my personal life. And perhaps this insert might be something that will help me do that. So there we go. That's everything you get in the Grow Planner Peace Box. Uh, these sell out very fast. Sometimes there are some available on the website after they've all sort of gone out to the subscribers, but not always. So if you are interested in this, I would highly encourage you just double checking on the website. I will obviously link it down below. If you would like to jump on, these come out, like I said, quarterly. So every you get them every three months. So you get four in a year. They're really good for starting up a planner and starting to sort of work your way into different inserts that you may or may not like. Different people like different things in their planner, but I love that you can get these and you can try something different. I would never go and buy a 30-day challenge insert on my own, so I love the fact that they're included for me and I can actually give something a go. I love to try new things. I love to try new inserts and see if they work. If they don't, it's a piece of paper. It's not the worst thing in the world, and if you make a mess of it or whatever, it's not a big deal. You can easily, easily, easily um, keep working on it, try something else. It's just a really good way to try things and see what may or may not work for you and the way that you plan. So a big thank you as always to Jess from Planner Peace Official for sending me this gorgeous, gorgeous box. Love getting them, so thank you again very much. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you aren't interested in other things that you might get in this box, I will link the playlist that all of these are on so you can go and check it out because they do change every quarter. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.